happy December and welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. My name is Jen and this is Jen Geigley Knits and it is December and it is Vlogmas and I'm doing it again because it is Vlogmas. <laughs> uh, happy December 1st. How's it going? Anyway, welcome to Vlogmas. If this is the first time you're hearing about Vlogmas, it's kind of day in the life videos for the month of December, but there will also be knitting things involved and I'll show you that in a bit. Um, I have some advents. I have a lot of fun crafts I like to do with the kids. I like to do baking, um, you know, cozy days at home knitting, all that stuff. So it's going to be a busy month ahead and I can't promise I'm going to post every single day. Although last year I did somehow and I have no idea how I did that. I know it was not easy, <laughs> but somehow we had something to share every day. This year, I have no idea. It's going to be unpredictable and chaotic this whole month. And so we'll see how it goes. I might just post one video a week to do like a recap of what we did that week. Or we might have enough every day that I have something to show. Um, either way, it's going to be fun and there will be Vlogmas happening on this channel for sure. <laughs> I love all the things that come with winter and December and the holidays. I love the holiday prep and the decorating, I love the baking, I love doing crafts with my kids and going out and doing things in our community. So there'll be a little bit of all of that. Um, so I'm excited to get this month started. Today, I, I'm bundled up because I'm probably headed down to our city's Chris Kindle Market, which is like the Nordic wares and foods and stuff like that. And it's cold, but I'm gonna go with my friend, Emily, and we decided to meet up and go down there together, which will be really fun. So we're gonna head out and do that soon. I also need to crank out some hats. I've been busting out my Addy knitting machine again because my friend Erica and I are having a hat drive, well, like all knitted garments, hats, scarves, anything. Um, we're doing a hats for the homeless drive tomorrow morning. So I have a few more of these to crank out on my Addy circular machine. I'll show you that in a bit. I have that to do. I did get the jam jar advent again this year. Um, last year I had the, the 25 day one. It was like the whole month of December. And then I realized that's a lot of jam. We ate it all. Like it's delicious. I love the jams. I love the little baby jars. But this year I got the smaller set, which is the 12 Days of Christmas, which just seems like a little bit more manageable and and realistic. <laughs> I mean, you can eat jam every day. It's very, it's such a treat. I love it. But this is like a better size for us, I think. <laughs> That's always fun. So I'll be opening the little jam jars. I love the little jam jars. We all love the little jam jars, right? So fun. I got one of those for fun. I got the kids a fun advent that they're going to open after school, I think. Kind of have a jam-packed day. Lotus has to work, and then Emily and I are going to the Chris Kindle Market, and then Bo and Bowie and I might go to the Chris Kindle Market also tonight because they do like a fun tree lighting and some other stuff that I want to go see, so maybe we'll go do that as well. So this day is going to be busy right off the bat. Um, I took a little video this morning that I'll show in a bit to kind of show how our day started. And then after I talk a little bit, I'll show you the rest of the day. But um, I also want to show you, I started the Arne and Carlos Knit Along. I don't know if you've seen this. I'm a big fan of Arne and Carlos. Um, it's using their Norwegian wool, which I happen to have in red, white, and green. And it is a stocking knit along and you do a little bit each day of December, which just sounds really fun. So our first assignment was the stocking toe, which I finished a couple of days ago. And so the next clue I think happens sometime today. And I think it's like six rows a day. So you can still jump in if you'd like to. I think the weight is like a DK and you can pick different colors, whatever. I was going to do navy and then I couldn't decide. So I'm just doing the recommended colors, but it's a free download at Arnie and Carlos and it's really fun. And I don't know if I'll be able to keep up because I have a lot of other knitting stuff to do, but it would be fun to be able to make a stocking during the month of December. And then if it turns out really cool, maybe I'll make one for each member of our family and maybe not, but I just wanted to do this because I think it's fun. So then I was thinking 
I wasn't sure if I'd have enough to share every day. I thought this last year too, and then you never know. <laughs> um, but then I did remember I ordered Advents last summer, like knitting yarn Advents that I kind of forgot about until they arrived at my doorstep, which is kind of the magic because if you're a knitter and you know about the knitting advent calendar. Some people do like a 12 day or a whole month long of December, but you order these in like June or July. So you order them in the summer and then you almost kind of forget what you ordered until they arrive, you know, in late November, early December. <laughs> and so these boxes arrived at my doorstep and I forgot, yes, I did order two new advents this year that I've never done before. Um, in the past, I've done the Madeline Tosh one, and last year it was like a star-shaped box with little boxes to open, and before that it's been like a triangle, like a silver triangle with all the little boxes to open, and it's so much fun. And this year they're doing something different, so they don't have the advent this year, they have another thing. But I decided to order two different um, knitting yarn advents, and they're over here, and these boxes are insane. <laughs> Like what, what is in these boxes? I have not opened them or looked in them yet, um, but they're both very big and I was just shocked. <laughs> when I saw them outside, I was like, what did I order? And then I remembered it was like in the summertime. Spoiler alert, stop watching now. And I'll give you lots of time here. If you don't wanna see the advent from Chelsea Yarns, or if you don't wanna see the advent from Magpie Fibers, because these are coming up next. So if you don't want to see this, I'll put a marker in the video so you can skip this part. And if you do want to see, keep watching. If you don't want to see, go away now, because I don't want to spoil it for you. So I do have these to show every day or a part of the days. I don't remember if it's a 12 day or a month long, but I have stuff to show for sure when I open these. The first one I got was, I'm gonna cover the label, is um, from Chelsea Yarns and look at the cute little New York. It's like a Chelsea Yarns Christmas in New York theme. So it's like a cup of noodles with a taxi and look at the cute, adorable tape. It's so adorable. And I don't, I haven't looked at all. So I'm just gonna open it up and see what's in here. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is so cute. You are kidding me. <laughs> this is so clever and cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> if you aren't familiar, this is based on, there's these Bloomingdale's shopping bags that say like big brown bag or medium brown bag, I think they say. Um, so this is the big Chelsea tote that is so cute. Put all your yarn in. And I guess to put all these bags in, hold on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what? This is so exciting and fun, I have to say. I totally spoiled myself with these and I just didn't even know how good it was gonna be. Okay. What? Okay, a jumbo pink and white cookie from Riceman's Bakery. Oh, this is so fun, what a treat. Okay, there is buttons. I love New York. Chelsea Yarns. 2023 NYC and a Metro card with a taxi. Adorable. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Double donut salted caramel hot chocolate. <gasps> what is this? Oh, okay, okay. A cool postcard to go with it, with all the little theme things in it. And then the I Love New York 2023 color card to explain the names of all the colors in these adorable bags that have the number printed on each one for each day. 
This is a 25 day. Holy moly. This is beyond. Okay, so I think those are all the little extras. And then there's all these little bags and I'm going to put them in my big Chelsea tote. This is so cute. I love this. Um, I love a tote bag, first of all, but this is like such a clever one. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the bag and then I'm gonna show you my next advent. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have all the little bags nestled inside of my big Chelsea tote. They're so cute in there. Oh my gosh, look at all that. And I guess since it's the first, I can open my first one. Again, spoiler alert, if you don't wanna see, please skip ahead. And where did I put the first one? Number one, this is too fun. So adorable. Let's see what it's called. Fifth Avenue. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is so fun. I have to say. I feel very spoiled. But this is very fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just still like in awe and I still have another box to open and this is not even right. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, next thing is the Magpie Fibers Advent. And if you don't wanna see this, again, look away, leave, come back later. I'll mark it with a little thing in the thing, in the YouTube thing. <laughs> Cause I don't want you to see this if you don't wanna see this. But here's your chance to leave. Magpie fibers, you guys, what on earth is happening here? Look at this box. It's so heavy. What is in here? What is going on? Look at this. So I watched their live over the summer again, um, talking about this. And they were saying like, Sam is a super gift giver and she loves to give her friends stockings with everything they like over the year, like she collects their favorite things and stuff that, you know, they say that they love or whatever. And she puts it away and puts it in a stocking for them. And me and my friend Emily do that too for each other. Like whenever we see something that makes us think of the other person, we grab it and give it to each other at the end of the year. But anyway, this is too much. <laughs> what have I done? And like, what is in here? And let's find out because it's time. This is the Magpie box for Magpie Fibers. That's what that sticker says. Again, I have not looked. I just opened the tape. I'm going to have to put it on the floor because it's, it's too heavy. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, right. It's the Celestial Celebration. So this is their take on an advent. And, and I know they, were, they sent out an email and said they were waiting for this special packaging. I know this packaging was like a special um, thing when I'm a sucker for good packaging. And so I totally get this. And they they were like, we're a little bit delayed. It was still here wait, in plenty of time, but they were, you know, sending out an email that they were worried about it. But it's, I think it was worth the wait because holy, what is this? Oh my God. This is just part of it. This is gorgeous. So there's these big boxes apparently to open each day that are all different sizes. No wonder this was like special packaging. Okay. It says it's a 2023 celestial celebration for Magpie Fibers. On the back, it says 
This advent calendar counts down to the winter solstice, celebrating from December 1st through December 21st with one surprise for each day. What? Includes 12 mini skeins, one full skein, eight gifts from the magpies, one knitting pattern download, one crochet pattern download. Thank you so much for participating in our celestial celebration. Love the magpies. So this is box number one. And I can see there's another layer. You guys. This is the second box. Wow. You are kidding me. No wonder they were waiting on this special packaging because like every box is a different size too. And this is so pretty and in their magpie colors. And this is the third box. No wonder it took a box this size to hold all this. These are beautiful. There's the third box. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I need to open the first one because I need to get ready and go to the Chris Kindle market. So just a minute, I'll put this back. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna open this up. This is like, I'm not worthy. This is too nice. Okay, so it's like a clear cover. Look at these boxes. I'm a graphic designer and look at these boxes. This is like packaging dreams. Seriously, these colors and the numbers, this is so fantastic. I'm gonna get box number one. Ugh, it's so pretty. Sorry. Okay. Wow. A full, beautiful skein in this like indigo purple. Oh my gosh. So it's swanky sock. I'm going to have to look up how to say this. I can't, I can't pronounce this, but that's the color name. I'm going to go Google it because I don't know how to say it. Okay. Afiyukis. Afiyukis. It is the serpent bearer and it's a large constellation that you can see near the Southern horizon from the Northern hemisphere during July, August and September evenings. So it's like the night sky. The serpent bear is standing on the scorpion and it's red star Antares. <laughs> From the southern hemisphere, Aphiuchus is closer to overhead. Wow. Okay, this is so fun. <laughs> okay, so that's day one of all my advents minus the jam, which I'll do another day. Okay, it's time for me to go get ready and bundled up to go downtown to our Chris Kindle market with my friend Emily. I will see you there.
It, still warming up it was very cold but really fun it was like good winter fun cozy outdoor like um, you know hot drinks and foods and music and all kind of polka music they even played like some metal it was covers it was hilarious I went with my friend Emily who if you've if you follow me on Instagram you've totally seen Emily over the years and know my pictures she was she's one of my best friends and we had a great Day together and it was just a fun way to start off the month and December 1st like the perfect activity so we had so much fun and I picked up a few goodies while I was there I didn't really mean to shop but this happens every year it's like the nostalgia and the special things that you can get there that you can't really find anywhere else and some of the homemade things especially so I picked up my favorite thing that I got last year I'm gonna say it wrong the Springer Springerla Springerla it's a German cookie that has this very, very detailed like relief. And the way they make it, it takes like a long time to make these. They're very special cookies and it's an almond flavor. And it's just so beautiful that I, and I remember they were delicious. This is also for, it's kind of, you're supposed to have this um, with your coffee. And so look how beautiful. I just can't believe how beautiful they are. And delicious. Um, and then from the same place, if this is like this local bakery called Sugar Plums, and they're in Altoona, I think. And then um, they also had these gingerbread stacks. And so I got some of these because I thought they looked adorable and delicious. And they had some samples and it was really good. So that's kind of fun. And then I got a new pickle ornament because we used to have a pickle and we lost it or it broke. It, I don't know what happened to it, but I needed a replacement and this is such a cute little one. So I got a pickle. Um, Fritz Toffee, who I guess the son was there working and he said his mom won like best toffee in the U.S. with her recipe. So And we had some of that and it was so good. So I got a little package of Fritz Toffee. And of course, one of the little Norwegian ornaments that are like, I think I have a few of these, but it's like kind of fun to get one every year. I think this one's kind of a cute little snowflake shape. I think I have a goat and maybe a heart or something else, but this is from this, I think it's a shop called The Windmill. I have the thing somewhere, but they have everything. And I bought a few things there. The other thing I was really excited about is this little Chris Kindle Market cup that I looked at it last year and I thought it was just the most adorable thing. I love the color. I love the little font and it's like a commemorative cup, but it's from a few years ago, I guess. So I was looking for it again this time because I really regretted not getting one last time. I just think the color is so cute. Um, so this time I was looking and looking and I didn't see it. I saw these other cups, but they didn't have this cup. And so at the one of the last places we looked, they had one left, one little pink cup. So that was meant to be, and I'm so excited I got it because I've been thinking about it for a year. Literally, that's so funny. So I got the cutest little Chris Kindle Market cup with Des Moines on it. Super happy about that. Then my favorite thing that I found was the Yule chimes. And this is from that Norwegian, um, what is that place called? The windmill. And so if you haven't seen this, I think my grandparents, someone had this in my history, in my life. The heat of the candles makes this go. And I cannot wait to try it out with the kids 
And then I got the little box of candles, which has the cutest packaging. Like I'm absolutely in love with this box. They have white candles and red. And these are like the classic advent candles. So look how cute, seriously. That's all my treats. Cookies, a cup, some toffee, some little ornaments, and the candle thingy. So I'm super happy with my little market haul. It was so fun. And it just felt like refreshing to get out in the fresh air. And we've had snow up until now. It just um, it melted the other day when it warmed up and now it's cold again. And so I think it's supposed to snow maybe tomorrow again. So it was kind of good to go today in case the weather gets weird tomorrow and we have a bunch of stuff happening tomorrow. So I had a great time at the Chris Kindle Market. And if you're local, you should totally go check it out. It's really, really fun. They have food and drinks and music and places to hang out and food trucks and then all these home baked goods and special things. So really, really fun times. Now it's time to crank out some hats. Um, my Addy King machine makes really good beanies that are like double layered thick um, that are perfect for charity knitting or I mean any knitting really but um, this machine can definitely make these hats faster than I can hand knit them so I'm going to crank a few out hopefully tonight before our hat drive tomorrow morning so I'm going to get going on this I have a real tutorial video that I'll link below that's very detailed and good I'm going to quick show you like an overview of how this works as I do this, but there's like a real video with lots of tips and tricks. I'll link it below. It's like a good one. So this is just kind of my, you know, process, but you just grab a worsted weight ball of yarn and I use a mixing bowl and I put this below my machine and then you want to crank this around until you see the first of three black needles. There's three in a row and you want the first one to line up with your yarn feeder. And so you start there. To cast on, you just move your crank to these three black needles and you want the first one to line up with this gold part here. And you leave a 10 inch tail in the middle and you wrap this around that first hook. The next hook you're gonna go behind, the next hook in front, behind, front, behind, front, behind, front, all the way around. And then the last hook, you're gonna put this through the yarn feeder, this little gold part here, and close it. You never wanna leave it open because it can snap off or break from hitting these hooks. So then you close it and reset your counter to zero and get some slack with your yarn going. And then you can crank a first row slowly, your first round, to make sure all the hooks catch. And once you've made it around one time, then you can kind of speed up a little bit and it should go really smoothly. To mention I'm cranking around until this counter says 130 rounds and that's how long I need this to be for this yarn to make a worsted weight hat and so that's what I'm doing right now. My watch thinks I'm doing an indoor run. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm all done cranking and my counter says 130 and now I can bind off. I'm going to cut a long tail that I will use to thread through all of these. And I just need a darning needle. Um, it's better if you have the kind that have a bent end. I don't know where mine went. I cannot find one of those. I have several somewhere, but I can't find them right now. And then you're going to crank. You're going to take your yarn out of the feeder first. 
and then you're gonna crank a few and then you're gonna start taking your needle let me find a light maybe uh, yeah let me turn on the light sorry it got kind of dark there for a second <laughs> um, so the next one over from where your yarn ends you're just gonna pick up the stitch that's in the little hook and then get the next one put it on your needle the first few are a little bit tricky thread it through once you get going you're gonna pick up a few at a time it gets a little easier I'm going to go all the way around picking these up. And then when you make it this far, you crank again to release some more hooks. And then it gets much quicker. it from the machine you just make sure you don't skip any of the loops and then you're good pull that all the way through now since I have these all threaded this will cinch shut which is really nice and the cast on edge does that as well so it's kind of cool this is all really loose right now and you just pull it and it really comes together nicely so this end that I have still threaded on the needle. I'm going to smoosh this up into, up inside, to make a double, double layered hat. And I'm going to bring this needle up here. So when this edge, this was the bind off edge, I'm going to take this end I'm just gonna pull it shut just kind of smooth it out as you go pull it really tight and then I'm gonna unthread that tail now I'm gonna take the other end this is the cast on edge so leave this tail hanging out over here pull this shut cinch it closed it kind of rolls up on itself Close this up, and now I've got my two tails here. I'm gonna trim them shorter because they don't need to be that long. So my cast on edge tail, my bind off edge tail, I'm gonna tie them in a tight knot and that brings the ends together on the inside. And I just tie this a couple times, tight, tight knots. And then I'm gonna thread both tails on my needle and I'm gonna go right down inside the double layer and hide the tails inside, pull them out wherever and trim. And then you just gotta kind of shape it and stretch it out because it's still kind of stretched out from the machine. So just kind of pull on it and obviously it's reversible so if you have one side that's a little bit prettier than the other you can flip it and see like which one looks better that's totally the same inside and out as far as looks go and your tailor inside so I think this one looks better and then you just fold your brim keep stretching it and then you have a hat so that took me about 20 minutes I've got two of these done and I'm gonna make two more Okay, open your eyes and look at your oh, new advent. Stop! That's so cute. Do we get to open Louis. the first one? Where's Morn? Oh, we sing the song. So you get to open one door each day and you guys get to share. Cute. Ah! That's a door. What is it? 
No way! What are we wearing? A little holiday Hold shirt. it up. Cute. Oh, <laughs> cute. Ooh, you get like a whole. I'm uh -huh. seeing what, what you get. Uh huh. You get the toy. You get the hat. You get the dolphin. You get a, a tree. Which one's your favorite, Zoe? <laughs> that's about it for today i think i feel like that was a lot we still might do something tonight and i'll add that later if we do something i'm not sure yet but i busted out some hats went to chris kindle market did some freelance work today um got this vlogmas started opened my advents so i think it's been a pretty good day so far good start to vlogmas and tomorrow is a really exciting day we have some really fun stuff happening tomorrow so check back tomorrow because tomorrow is exciting and fun too thank you for hanging out thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye